Oh! It is so bright in my room right now because the sun is so freaking bright today. Um, What's going on? Mika Mino, thank you so much for the nine months. I think I'm also nine months in, in your channel. That's, that's crazy. Or is it eight? Oh, it's nine. What's up, Volk? What's going on? It's, I don't know why it's so, like, it's, it is so fucking bright. The light of God is with me today. Um, anyways, what's, what's going on? Did you guys miss me? It's been like, it's been like two months. Crazy. It's been, uh, it's been a couple days. It's felt like a week. Um, I had to restart my router again. So hope, I really hope it doesn't crash today. I'm gonna be really mad. It's it's been having issues recently. I've been talking with my family and they they've been noticing some issues too. Homework, man. Hulk, I I almost died recently. You understand that? Well, you know what? I'm glad you're putting your studies before me because I am not worth. Uh replacing your your homework study time so you know what good on you okay that is so fucking bright i might need to put a blanket over that it, it's reflecting off my ac unit i know what to do the jacket there that's i fucking damn it oh but i'm just gonna leave it it'll go away in like an hour I don't know why it's been it's been rainy and cloudy for like months and now it's just like record heat or record temps and just super sunny. It was raining yesterday, bro. Anyways, um That's what I'm saying. Why go to school when I can teach you everything? Everything you need to know. Like, how to, uh... Like, how to stitch up your hand when your tendon accidentally gets exposed. It's it's bandage. It's good now. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> uh... Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that when, as I load up this game. All right, well, well, I'll be here if you are here later, Volk. There's been an update for Dave the Diver. You keep injuring yourself. This is crazy. I don't injure myself. When's the last time I've injured myself? <laughs> oh, I guess, yeah, this... Okay, you can kind of see it more now. Wait, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I guess I did that recently. That doesn't count. That, is, that didn't even hurt. This doesn't even hurt either. When did that happen? Uh, Wednesday? No, wait, was it? No, Wednesday was yesterday. It was Tuesday then. No, wait. Tuesday? Tuesday or Monday? Let me let me check. I'm pretty sure it's Tuesday. Yeah, it was Tuesday. So. <laughs> How's my mouse working? Oh, there we go. I, I I won't make a big fuss about it. It wasn't that crazy, but um, it was just a really un, it was a really inconvenient spot. So, this is so loud. So, moderator Scooty and I were at work. Does he have ten years plus as an electrician? Yeah. Moderator Scooby does actually. He's 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 pretty smart. But we were we were we're at work and we uh we were uh like okay so he had this pocket knife. <laughs> he has the Scooty moderator Scooty has this pocket knife and we're cutting rope or like paracord to tie these tubes. And um i was like okay well i need to help because i was doing something else i was like all right I'll, i guess i'll help this but i'm gonna go get my own knife so i got my k-bar which if you don't know what it, how big a k-bar is it's like like that big 
So, uh, I come back with my K bar, and I was like, oh, this is a real knife. And then, uh, we were like joking, like, cause we, we turned the, we turned the blades around. So it was like the, the, the non sharp side. And we were, we were like jokingly, like, 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 as we were like hitting the swords, we weren't like swinging them. We were just like, ting. We were just like, ting, ting, like that. But we, like, I don't know how it happened, but we both like brought our hands down at the same time. Like we stopped. But the point of his knife fucking went into my hand. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 I looked at it. I, I felt it go into my hand. And I just like, I was just like, oh man, <laughs> I showed it to him. I saw white and I was like, oh man, I got, the, it got the tissue. And it, it didn't bleed for like, like 10 seconds. I was like, look at it. I was like, oh yeah, that's a gape. That's a gouge in my hand. So I'm just kind of like showing my other coworker. I'm like, yeah, don't, don't play with knives. And then. It started bleeding a lot. Uh, and then we just kind of... Uh, Nico gave me a, a waterproof bandage, which was not waterproof, as I fucking found out. But he gave me a he gave me a waterproof bandage, and I just cleaned it up. Just, or just made it stop bleeding. Just slapped it on there and just got back to work. And then I, uh, I got home, and I cleaned it up, like, properly, like, alcohol and made sure it was dry and stopped bleeding and uh i noticed as i i can't do it with this hand but i noticed as i went like this the white part was moving i was like oh that's not tissue that's my tendon <laughs> my tendon was exposed like pretty pretty well too like it wasn't because i saw a little bit but i guess it like cleared up because i was stupid and kept using it <laughs> and I'm, I'm not going to show it. I have a video. If any of you are really curious and want to see my middle finger tendon. It's not a big cut, but you can, it's just right on top of it. Just perfect spot. And I was like, yeah, I should probably keep that closed. So I, I had that, like, I had that like suture tape or the uh, wound closure strips, put that on there, put a bandage like this. And then I got one of these. Kept it closed. Literally didn't even move my fingers for the past two days. And unfortunately, I didn't go to work. I really wanted to, but I knew... I knew if I went to work, this was going to bust open again. You want to see? Okay, I'll send... I'll, I'll, I'll Discord... I'll DM the video. It's kind of... it. For some reason, I think because it's such a clean cut... For some reason, zero pain absolute like he did such a good job with cutting my hand it's not bad it doesn't hurt thankfully but just i just want to be careful with it because i don't really want that part to get infected or have any more damage to uh you know i don't want my tendon to get you know damaged so yeah, I just, I didn't want to risk it. I know, men used to go to war, men used to hunt, uh, blah, blah, blah. you know, men used to have all their tendons exposed, whatever. I, I'm, I'm fine, I was fucking tying rope. I was tying, I was tying strings to tie stuff. I, I, I'm not gonna die or lose my hand over that. So, not a bad cut. It's, it's a totally, it's a totally normal cut. What do you, what do you, what do you think, neurologist Mika? Ugh. so weird it's kind of cool because that was horrible to watch <laughs> did you like the part where i went like this and you could see the tendon going up and down <laughs> oh gosh it's so gross okay i i, I don't even want to see that I'm, I'm fucking deleting it uh i just i'm, I'm removing it i don't even want to see that anymore but yeah that's ugh. so that that's that's why i couldn't use it and it's just, it was an unfortunate spot because obviously you want to keep it closed, but your tendon's constantly moving and stretching, so that's obviously going to kind of mess with it a little bit. So I was like, all right, not use this. But I checked it this morning. It's totally sealed. Um, it's still, like, not 
completely like calloused or dried yet, so I'm not gonna like go crazy with it. But I can still I can still move my fingers. I'm just not gonna. I can't make a fist because it, it actually kind of hurts if I it, it feels weird when I make a fist. So I'm just not gonna test it. It's on such thin skin too, so it's like it's really hard to keep that really closed and uh, and not you know stretch it to where. It, yeah, you know what I mean. But that's why I can use my hand. Um, it's totally good now. It's kind of funny because like it looks so like like nothing happened, but just unfortunate unfortunate timing and spot. But I feel good. No pain, nothing. Like it's shout out moderator Scooty for not severing my tendon. That would have that would have not felt very good. Ugh. I thought you guys just decided to not use your hands for G10. <laughs> that that like we just made a pact or like a like when you like if you play that game with like as a kid where you have the swords and if you like hit the limb you can't use that limb. We just do that for a couple days. Yeah, no, it's even more stupid than that. No, yeah, we decided to like. The funniest part is we were we were so careful. We we're like, okay, we're like, let's let's be let's be, let's go really slow. Like, okay, jokingly, and then we just we just both like stopped at the same time, and our it it just um, yeah, that was a message from God saying you stop being stupid. <laughs> uh, all right, I need to catch a sailfish, but that's that's what happened. I thought it was my bone at first, and I was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. And I was like, alright, there's like rubber bands that connect to your bones and make them work. My uh my arm was kinda sore for a few days. But I think it's just from not using it. I'll, I'll let you guys know if I like start feeling excruciating pain. The one time I only felt pain was, um, was I had that waterproof bandage on and I took a shower after work. This is like when I, it first, the first day happened and I was like, I was like, oh, it's fine. Um, oh shit, Mako shark. <laughs> um, I was in the shower and just like I saw a drop of water because I was just like I was curious if it was waterproof. I saw a drop of water go right under the bandage into my hand and that fucking hurt. I was like, oh, yeah, it's not waterproof. What's funny is Nico got a really bad cut like that, too, just a few days before that. Yeah, uh, we were walking outside of our warehouse and it was ice on the ground and he slipped and flung his hand up and it hit like a sharp metal part of the door and he cut like right here but obviously that's that's a little more easier to manage and not so um is not as much in the way luckily i barely cut my hand and i already feel faint i can't imagine seeing a tendon that yeah i i saw the cut i, I mean the only time I could think of having a cut like that was, I can't really see it, there's like a scar right there. I kind of like cut half my pinky open. Like basically, like half the pinky was like cut and I didn't see anything, but that's what, this is when I was really young. So I think it was a lot easier to manage. And that was like the only time I, where I was like, oh shit, that's a deep cut. Um. Yeah, I, I thought I would be freaked out, but I was just kind of more like, oh, wow. Yeah, we're we're actually more fragile than I thought. <laughs> Two million or something years of evolution just to have that happen. I, I You know what? I'm, I'm fucking thankful it didn't hit the tendon or didn't cut it. Because if that, if I damaged it, that would that would have been fucked. I was able to use my hand, so thankfully, yeah.
but I, I was worried it was gonna like like open up again or it was gonna just not heal and I was like fuck I have to I gotta make sure it stays closed or shoot this mic infected but no it's it, it honestly is fine I think for such a small cut too it's a really small cut but it was it's just a really deep cut and that's where it's like I know I'm gonna get shit when I get back to work for taking two days off because of that but I mean you know what I'd rather have that than lose a tendon just to prove that uh you know it's kind of it was really weird like seeing it move that was the weirdest part of seeing it move and not feeling any pain I don't know I didn't feel I, like I didn't feel any the only time I felt pain was was in the shower it was weird and same thing with Nico. He had he had the bad cut on his uh, palm, and he said he didn't feel any pain either. So maybe we're just built different. Everyone kept telling me to use super glue to seal it up. I was like, I don't know if that works very well on deep cuts with a tendon exposed, but you know what? Maybe I'll try it next time. I've used super glue for really small cuts. Like just on the go, just like this I need I need to fix this now and like like I had a cut um when I was in landscaping. Is it this one? Yeah. Uh when I was in landscaping I was trying to connect PVC pipe that was broken. And I was trying to uh cut the broken piece and a wasp Blew right onto the broken piece I was trying to cut. So I took off my glove and I went to go, or no, it was my right hand. I took off my glove, went to go smack it and just slammed my hand or my wrist into the broken PVC pipe. Can't really see it. It's like right, uh, it's like right here. You can't really see it. It's really faint. Uh, but I just shanked my wrist. Luckily it wasn't like a little bit more over cause that would have been my other tendon <laughs> but uh i just i was like fuck like i just cut it a little bit and i just super glued it or cleaned it super glued it and it was it was fine um but definitely not medically inclined to do that i don't know my, my sister's a nurse too and she it was stresses like the correct way to do things because or especially like at home because uh um obviously this was much better than uh going to get stitches and costing uh a month's rent for me america it said there's some fish in here but i don't think there is I think this is the wrong shipwreckage. But yeah, I'm not gonna go too crazy on it because like I can still, I can do this. I just can't, I can't really bend my fingers because I feel, I can feel like, it, it just feels sensitive. It doesn't hurt. It's just kind of like, oh, that feels weird. I can still use a mouse, thank God. That, that was I think that was one of the first things Scooty said when it happened was, well at least you can still use a mouse, or at least you can still game. Yeah, I think is it talking about this? I think it's talking about this. Because this is a shipwreckage. I might try Elden Ring today. We'll see how the we'll see how the controller works. <laughs>
But I don't know, the only part that sucks is I had to miss work for it. Um, it's just a lot of heavy lifting, which is not great for if you're only able to use one hand. But it'll, it'll leave a it'll leave a nice scar. I can't wait to tell my kids how that happened. I gotta make up a story like. I don't know. I'll think of something. Yeah, that that's that's been what's happened. What's what's happened? Right? I feel like I feel like most scars, if are like, I feel like people don't. I haven't heard a good scar story yet. Like, I feel like so many people get scars for really stupid reasons. What's a, give me an example. What's a, what's, what's, what's a, what's a battle you've had that has caused one? All of mine are for completely stupid reasons. I've never had a hellable story. This one on my palm? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I have two identical scars on both my arms from touching the top of the oven on two separate occasions. <laughs> the first one was an accident. Second one, I just didn't learn. Dude, burn scars, I... They... they I feel like they leave the worst scars. I have a couple burns. Are you like, you don't even realize, even if it's something that's just hot enough, it'll like blister and it just leaves a mark. I mean, not that, not that I would know because I'm a professional cook. I guess I should put one of these in there. Nice. I also have a bouncy castle scar. Oh shit, dude, that's dude that 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 goes hard. That that's that's some that's crazy. That's crazy shit right there. Did you, what did you like bounce out of it? How do you get a scar from a bouncy house? You, you bounce too, too high and you fly out of it. space again it was a slide when I was sliding down it was so hot it burned part of my ankle oh was it like those metal slides or maybe not no I could I, okay I can see how like the friction would do that ow it's like like a like a rug bird almost. That's uh, that sucks. The friction of the plastic. Ugh. Those are the worst. Are like the the scrapes. The scrapes are like the like those hot metal slides that. Just, oh, I I I've had that happen on like the bone of my ankle before when I was a kid. Those that hurts. Those are the worst pains. Is like abrasions or scrapes.
How's the fishing? I mean, murdering a fish. You know what's good? I'm about to kill this shark. I'm about to kill this endangered species. What's up, Log? How, how you doing? <laughs> Still cracked at this game. Dead estate. What is? I have not heard of that. That. Shoot. I like rogue. Sometimes. I don't know, I'll have to, to check it out. I, I, I usually like most rogues. Or roguelikes, or... I don't really know what the genre of, like, rogue games are. I just know I've liked most of them. Because I think most I've played were, like, dungeon crawlers. Okay, I'm guessing the hammerhead and the the sailfish are here. Maybe I just took too long or something. I don't know. Yeah, I might as well go back up. First day back, still got it. We'll see about Elden Ring. I've gone so far in Elden Ring, I'm, 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 I'm kind of surprised. I actually feel like I've done more in this run than I have my first run. Uh, that's why I was. That's what I've been doing since I was, I was MIA for the past couple of days. I was just watching YouTube and Netflix and stuff I normally don't do. But I'm like, wow, it's kind of weird to like have time so to say like or like have like free time well i guess technically now i have free time but you know what i mean like like uh like ha where i'm just not doing anything i'm just like in my chair i'm just like hmm cool Not like bored, but I'm just like, I guess I'll just watch a show. It was actually, uh, it was a, it was, it was just like a little, you know, break. I, cause I just, I deserve it. I totally deserve it. Speaking of that, if I ever want to travel abroad someday, um, I've realized that I need to like take a laptop with me or like uh, get a new laptop because mine's like broken. Um, maybe I can do like dreams off of that or do like like a cam only stream and I could do like drawing maybe or something like that maybe take like a cheap mic with me or some and some headphones go pro stream oh go pro stream <laughs> go pro stream dude just, just just go pro stream already uh does that even work? Can you stream from a GoPro? Maybe like the really 
really nice ones. Maybe, it, I guess because it's just a camera, right? And you need something to like... I know there's Streamlabs on the phone, but I've heard it kind of sucks. But I use Streamlabs now because that's what I just used and it's really easy. But, uh... <laughs> I don't know how the... How the... I don't even know if my... My data would work, but it would be a... It would be like a... What is it called? Um like the abroad data where it like barely works and it's just like it's it's like taking up way too much bandwidth or something i don't know i forget what it's called um but i could do like a i just need to have a place that has uh wi-fi which most of them do and then uh just have like a laptop with a camera have a mic keep headphones and just do like Streams off of that. I feel like that would work. I can vlog. That's true. I mean, I was gonna do. I was gonna do that anyways. Like, record some a lot of stuff or kind of like, like uh, not blog, but like take pictures of everything and um, kind of keep up with it, like on social media. But I mean, I'm already, I'm already not so great at that. But I, I think having that is like my only resource to be able to kind of keep up with everything i feel like that would help it just wouldn't be able to live stream. but if i had a laptop that had like adobe premiere pro or whatever it's called and just kind of compile everything or post like videos like edited videos i feel like that'd be good i, I know to edit Okay, I can't fuck this up this time. Flashing water. Oh, cool. This is what my pictures would look like. I'd be taking pictures of whales. Yeah, I think that's how I'd do it. No, it, it'll be fun. It, it'll kind of get me used to doing other stuff than just like yapping for eight hours a day. Speaking of yapping. Where am I going first? Where do you think I'm going? Take it take a wild guess. Um keep all of these. Yeah precisely. Yeah, that's 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 I, I don't even know if I wanna like maybe I'll I'll go to some other Nordic countries, but that's definitely like what I wanna do, like for part of the year volunteer there do some stuff there work back here go back there and i don't know see where that takes me i'm young i'm i'm, I'm still a child basically i i i i need to i need to um enjoy my youth or something um yeah i don't know my mom keeps trying to like sign me up like she keeps finding places she's like oh do this do that like go to this farm, go to this, uh, go to this orchard, go to this, like, oh, there's this marine volunteering program. Like, I already did that. I already, I already did a couple years of that, which was fun, but um, that I think that is like like really volunteering work. The other stuff is kind of like, like part time jobs, so to say, kind of like working like a volunteering working your job. But those are like, uh. What is it? <clears throat> I'm trying to remember the facility name. Uh, it's called NOAA. I think it's National Oceanic Administ Administrative Association. I don't know. I volunteered there for a little bit. Or it was a it was a different program that would volunteer at NOAA and back and forth, like that kind of stuff. 
I don't know. That that would be like, it, it's 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 pretty like not hard work, but it's 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 um it's just it's very consistent. Like I guess you could say pretty hard work. Yeah, it's like it's very active. Um, so it's that would be fun. But I don't know. There's a lot of options. I'm just. I need to get my password renewed and then finish another season of firefighting stuff, and then we'll see. Wow, look at that picture. Have you applied for a passport? Uh, no, I, I have my old one. And uh, both my mom and I have to renew ours, so we're both just going to go to the post office and fill it out. And it's really easy to apply for one. You just need to, the, you just have to wait. That's it. Which I've heard the earliest it can take is like two to three weeks. And the latest people have waited is like three to five months. <laughs> my, uh, I think I, I think my passport was when I was like, I don't know, it was a long time ago. I had, a, I had a bowl cut or like a it's kind of like a bowl cut it was like a like a justin bieber haircut in my in my first passport picture when i was like eight or nine oh, okay. wow Do I have seeds? I didn't realize people could live without passports until last year. I thought it was mandatory. I used to think of that too. I thought it was like, like an ID, like you had to have it, but you just can't leave the country. I mean, legally, I'll just swim there. I'm just gonna take a boat. What am I doing? I'm just gonna save myself so much money. What are they gonna do? Tell me to turn around? <laughs> All right, guys, I'll start rowing this way. Like our wheat. And eggplant. I know that in my state, there's this really weird thing in my state where you have to. Um, a couple years ago, they changed the license so they're vertical instead of like a normal license, driver's license where it's uh, horizontal. And now they're changing it like back. And you have to update it in the next like year or so to just fly on a plane again. I don't I don't know what it's, it's a really weird policy in my state has, but I have to check to when that's due. So you know I have my passport, I have everything, and then oh your ID is not suitable to fly on a plane. I don't think it's I don't I don't don't know if it's like super strict, but just a weird thing that. A lot of people kept telling me to renew it, but, uh, I don't know. Thankfully, I know a couple DMVs that are really easy to get through, um, because everyone knows that DMVs are, like, the worst place on Earth. But I, I, know, I know a DMV in the town over, there's, like usually one sometimes two people working at the front desk and there's no more than like two or three people there the most people i've seen in there was like 10 and everyone that kept walking in would always comment how many people there were or it was too packed and they would leave
I'm like, dude, go to the main city's DMV. There's like, it's like, you're in like a queue of like a hundred people. I'm gonna try this one more time. Just to see if I can get someone. Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I just have to get, like, a somewhat decent laptop that doesn't crash. Imagine, like, I get this all set up, and then I don't even have internet where I go. Blue hole depths. I feel like they have internet in Norway. Me too. I'm just thinking like if I go somewhere more like rural or like kind of um, off the grid a little bit. This should be this should be fine though. Definitely honestly better than it's probably better than my internet now. Which I need I need to keep an eye on that because it's been causing issues this week. Um It says I have a couple drop frames. Let me check my let me check my bandwidth. This is okay. I'm gonna keep an eye on it though. Because if it's still causing issues, then I gotta call someone to Hopefully fix it or upgrade it or get some sort of like connection like those little like what do you call those those little like bandwidth those little like receptors that uh like modem things that can spread uh internet further throughout the house Shipwreck interior. Yeah, that's where I went. Is that that was the shrimp in there? Okay, so. But this was in the shipwreck interior. This day. Day and night. Ow, ow. Okay, well, let me... Maybe I'll try it again this time. Maybe it's just I'm the wrong time to do it. I do have to go down to the sea people, so maybe... I'm going to go the normal way. Check it out, and then maybe I'll go down to the sea people. I wonder if I can still draw with this hand. I feel like I can. I tried to play drums a little bit today just to see, like, just kind of limit test a little bit to see if my hand would explode or something. And it felt fine, but it kind of felt, like, a little agitated. So I was like, all right, maybe I should not. Maybe the first thing I should do is not play drums. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I already opened it again. I can't tell.
Hey guys, got a little update. Um, unfortunately, I got a severe infection um, in my right hand. Uh, it's like going up my veins and stuff. Uh, they said either I'm going to have to amputate it or it's going to take about two months to fully irrigate my veins and stuff and, you know, fully clean it. So, fortunately, I've been gone for two months. They said it, not me. I'm also currently bankrupt. <laughs> um, that was a, those little suture tapes actually work really well. Because the first one I tried to stick on, it we wouldn't even, it wouldn't even, the adhesive didn't work. But I think it's because I there was a couple seconds where I didn't put it on. So the next one I tried, I took it off and then immediately put it in my hand and it worked. So uh wound closure strips actually work. Cause I was like, I, I don't really wanna I don't really wanna stitch my hand right now. If there's no pain, I don't really wanna cause pain. <laughs> I got to collect that. It'd be the only thing I'd talk about the next two weeks. I just survived the most brutal wound. I, I that's I'm, it, I'm, I'm, that's how I kind of feel. Like it's I don't know. It was just kind of cool. It, not cool, but like it was it was interesting to see it that deep of a cut. That's definitely one of the deepest cuts I've ever had. So like I don't want to like for but it's so small. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. It'd be, it, it is kind of like... It's a better story than, like, one of my other scars uh, on my my left, like... Um, like, my left, like, side. Not my hip, but, like... I guess, like, my lower... The like lower left side of my torso. Um, I got it from a... Uh, from a bathtub faucet. Um, I was staying at this Airbnb in Texas before we moved in and the bathtub the bathtub faucet was like was like a piece of pipe that was like it was like this big and it was a really thin pipe so it could like cut you pretty well but it was like uh, the, the edges of it were like unfinished like it wasn't it wasn't even like a smooth it was just like literally like a pipe not a faucet so i was chilling there as a joke and i got up really fast out of the tub and i just i just fucking skewered the side of, of the, my side and uh i look i looked down at the faucet and just a chunk of my just of my side was on the faucet i was like oh man yeah that fucking hurt Oh, you're doing my, doing my bad hand. I don't know, man. It is it is really that's I don't tell that story because that's lame. Oh yeah, I got this from a bathtub faucet. I know. And I didn't we didn't have any bandages or anything, so I had to use old like I I tore up some old clothes that were really 
much small on me. And it worked. But yeah, that, that hurt when it first happened. I always make fun of Scooty for that. Because he was there. You know what? All my scars have been with Scooty. I think I think he's a bad influence on my body. But uh I may I, I always make fun of Scooty for that because I, I was walking out of the bathroom, hand over my side, bleeding from my side, and I'm like I'm like, dude, do we have any bandages? He's like, No, we don't. Like, figure it out. And I'm like, okay, fuck you. So I go into my room and I and I figured it out. But then he told me later, he's like, yeah, dude, I was like, uh, cause this, uh, he was, he was with his girlfriend at the time. And, um, uh, I guess he, he, they, they were like getting comfortable or something. And I guess I interrupted them. Uh, and he told me that later. I was like, well, sorry for interrupting that I was, I, you, you saw my hand, I was dripping, but, and that's your fucking reasoning. I was like, I, I see who you're loyal to now. You choose your fiance over your best friend. I, how fucking dare you? This was in the living room. You know what? It's okay because I've 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 accidentally harmed Scooty a couple times before. There was one time I. Uh, what was it? I like jumped down from the couch or something. Or it was like a really tall couch. I like jumped down from it. And uh, I tr oh, no, I tried to piggyback on him and I actually clawed his neck. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It was just, like a little scratch. Uh, I actually punched him in the mouth one time. Accidentally. It was, it was actually a complete accident. Um. We were we were fake shadow boxing with each other and he ducked his head like towards my fist or where I was punching and I I hit his I hit his mouth. I felt really bad. But it's okay because he accidentally punched me in the side of the head one time. So but you know what? We 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 repay each other. <laughs> I might die one day. Okay, you, you know, I punch you, you punch me, I punch you again, you expose my tendon. Like, it's, that's just, that's just friend things. But I think because I, I would be talking about it more if it wasn't such a small cut. So I'm just kind of like, thankfully it didn't get really bad. And it's just kind of funny. That's, that's all there is to it, really. I think not using my hand at all really helps though, because, um, like I just didn't use it and it sealed up pretty well. I don't think I've ever had stitches though. I've only had stitches for my nose because I had a uh, what's what are the what are the moles called that uh, that could have like signs of like melanoma like mel melanomic moles or whatever. Um, I had one on I had one right on the tip of my nose when I was like twelve and before and. Uh, I had to get it removed and I had stitches. That was like the only time I've had stitches. 
surprisingly. I think it's the only surgery I've had too. Sur surgery quotations. Surgery did on my ear. I think it's my only cool scar. Whoa, that's that's kind of crazy. What uh, what what happened to your ear? Bouncy house. Oh shoot. Dang. So like, like actual like in ear. Okay, I was thinking like, like the exterior. Maybe I have to get it now too. I just pushed my headphone and just like popped my ear. Like interior. Okay. Well, luckily, sounds like it wasn't too. Too bad. Speaking of ears, um, I don't have earlobes. Does anyone ever notice that? Oh, you can't. You can't. You can't, you can't really see it in this light. I don't. I don't have a. My my earlobes are connected to my head. See. Okay, in this lighting, yeah. What do you, I don't even know what you call it, but um, yeah, I don't have like lobes. I, they're just connected to my head. Or what do, you, what do you recall it? Like they're not. Whatever. There still is like, when I was really young, it was kind of weird because I'd really like circular like ears at the like especially on the bottom side they don't serve any purpose so you're good yeah no I, honestly it's like it's I, I i thought it was like a totally normal thing and then i started noticing like other people had like 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 disconnected lobes not disconnected but what do you call it i was like oh it's actually interesting because when i was younger uh i I couldn't get earrings or any like piercings because uh there wasn't enough skin there now there there is um so i guess i do have earlobes now but when i was younger they were it was connected i didn't have like any anything there it was kind of weird they used to make fun of me they'd, they'd say um they'd make fun of me for not having earlobes I was, they didn't realize I was just different. Ah! Dude, fuck off. Oh. Haha, <laughs> you got no earlobes. Shut up. That is not going to be... <laughs> it's not gonna be another thing to be made fun of on me. Now oh, you got no taste, you got no earlobes, and you look stupid. Oh! And you're bad at games. And you have 20 20 vision. Loser.
Imagine not having your lips can't relate. You know what? I'm proud of my missing earlobes. But hold on. Like, no, I still have them. They're just, right? It's really hard to see in this lighting because the fucking sun. But like, that's not a better angle either. You know what I mean? No, I have earlobes. No, I'm like the rest of you guys. Right? Imagine imagine you bully me enough to the point where I actually like cut my earlobes. Just okay, you know what? Never mind. That's horrible. <laughs> Look what you did to me. Uh I get I get a earlobe earlobe surgery. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I get I get uh, I get cosmetic surgery on my ears. Uh, that's pro that would probably be like, that's probably gonna cost me so much. And all it is is just taking t a pair of scissors and just ting ting. Doc, please, if I, if I want earrings, it has to happen. I feel like, I feel like it's actually nicer because, like, not having that like little like space between like the ear like i think it's just easier i think it's more like i feel like it's more hygienic i don't know because you know like some people it some people don't realize like you have to clean behind your ears because obviously so i feel like not having that like that earlobe space i feel like that makes it more hygienic i don't know maybe i'm just i'm trying to justify not having <laughs> earlobes I'm not weird. I'm not a freak. A leatherback sea turtle? Ah, please help me. Donna might have eaten something weird. She's going crazy. She's been gobbling up the jellyfish. Something's wrong with her. Ah, human? I guess now's the time to judge. Please help. What do I do? I'll have to catch her and try calming her down. Um. Oh, I have to grab on the fin. prompt before oh shit I had it the right click or left click that's not a jellyfish ah this must belong to humans the plastic bag who would throw something like this into the sea um a few people. <laughs> Thank you, human. Now I'll be able to gather seaweed with Donna again. <laughs> Phew, what a relief. Almost choked by a plastic bag. That was a close call. Anyways, make sure to relay this message to the humans. Tell them to not throw such things into the sea. Fishing to make a living is understandable. However, I don't understand why they need to throw away such things. If they throw away such horrendous things again, I'll give them a taste of my half-moon kick. Well, looks like everything's taken care of. I'll have to visit Mima's restaurant later. Sea turtle! That's cute. I've never seen a leatherback sea turtle. Because they're, like, extremely rare. But... People don't, people don't realize how big leatherbacks are. They're, like... They're, they're giant. They're, like, the size of a car. Small car, I should say.
I need to find that village then. Oh, I've been thinking recently about like about like a 100k point redeem thing. I have a couple things. Just a couple. Um, what about a 24 hour stream? Does that seem like a good reward? Just like obviously not like at the moment it's redeemed, but like next available stream or like weekend day like you know what i mean it has to be 24 hours sleep stream and everything damn it that seems worth 100k okay that's what i thought because like what's that that's like that's like three months of constant watching Depending on how much I stream, so. All right, I'll uh, I'll have to mentally prepare because I know that the second I add that. Luckily, my weekends are pretty open right now. Definitely would not be able to do it like during fire season though, because, like, you have to expect something, and usually there is something every day. But at least for now, it would work. I think Batty already has that much. Yeah. No, totally. So that's where I'm like... That's where I have to, I have to prepare. <laughs> Imagine I start having, like, sleep paralysis or, like, hallucinations, and then I start freaking out. I start, like, floating around the room. Everyone's just like, what the fuck? The only thing is I would have to probably mod like Rick or someone because he's like the only one who'd be able who'd be up at that hour. Like the nighttime or if like sleeping. Cause he was like at every one of my sleep streams. Which I, I don't think he cares. I just have to ask him. Because before, you know, when no when there's no one watching, I was like, alright, good night. I should have like family guy clips playing so it's not it, so it's like somewhat interesting. The only thing that's probably gonna happen is my wife is gonna like cut out and the stream just stops. That's, like, that's all that's gonna happen. I'd have to do it on a day where I don't have appointments either. Should be pretty easy. And then a million points is a week long stream. Or like a million points is earlobe correction surgery. A million points, hair transplant surgery. You're just making fun of yourself at this point. No, I'm laughing with myself. I'm not laughing at myself.
I was told grown up, they're not laughing at you, they're laughing with you. I'm not making fun of myself, I'm making fun with myself. Anytime you'd hear that, you just knew you were getting absolutely flamed and roasted. What's this game about? I want to try it out, but I don't know anything about this game. Fishing. And beluga whales. It's literally, it's a fishing game. Or a, de or a spear fishing game. It's a spear fishing game and you run a sushi restaurant. But as you can tell, there's a lot more to it. It's an amazing game. I totally recommend it. I'm still, I'm still playing it after, like, a month. Oh, it's February today. Oh, ho, ho! Thanks to you, Dave, I'm, I'm able to open the restaurant again. It looks good. Um, I don't want to call this repayment of debt. I was thinking of making food that humans can eat. Really, Mima? Hey, I'm a better cook than any other sea person. I'm sure my food will surprise even humans. I mean, I do need to experiment. Oh, ho, ho. I'll tell you when it's ready. Look forward to it. <laughs> I'm torn between getting Dredge and Dave the Diver. Oh, those are both good games. <sighs> they, Those two games have had a... They've collabed with each other, too. Like, there's... They've added NPCs from like each game to the other game and like fish. Uh, I think this game has a little more content than Dredge, in my opinion. But I think Dredge is more. He's a little more fast paced and probably a little more like. I don't know. But they've also been adding more stuff to Dredge. I've heard the DLC wasn't the best. Dredge is a horror game? Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's like a horror game, technically. But it's not like... In my opinion, it's not super, like, horror. It's more like... Kind of like... Creepy, like... Not like Outlast horror, but it's like, um... It's like spooky. It's it's uh, it's like uh, Lovecraftian. So it's kind of like... It, it, has, it does have horror elements. Time to gamble. Of course, my my gambling hand is limited, but I can try. Replace. Oh, no, don't replace that. Hedgehog. Can I just register all of these? Might as well. Manage. Thoughts on Silent Hill 2 Remake. Wait, is that... Hold on. I, I've I've heard that that was... That that was coming out. Is it released? Oh, coming soon. I was like, no way. I think I would have heard about that. I love 
Silent Hill 2. Um, real trailer, say to play. Oh, okay. Only show a trailer. I okay, I see that. Um, I'm just skimming through it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought it looks cool, but Silent Hill fans are not happy about it. Well, so as a, as a Silent Hill fan um well I, fan i i i played a little bit of the games but i i know what happens in, in them and i understand the the themes for the most part uh i can see why diehard silent hill fans do not like it because it kind of i've heard that people kind of say it's like it's almost like a resident evil remake and resident evil is like an action action zombie survival horror they clearly want the resident evil remake way and silent hill fans hate that yeah like i think the original silent hill games are very avant-garde when it comes to philosophical horror and they're very they're, they're like they're very raw i guess you could say it's very like it, obviously, it deals a lot with like trauma and and uh, like themes surrounding that, and uh, very like in depth, very very in depth like psychological horror. Um, and I think rem remaking that is kind of hard with updated graphics because the old graphics and the old style is what made it amp what was what amplified those themes so i think how they're remaking it is they're kind of going more the polished route versus the creative directive creative directory route which is not like bad but i think it's like it wasn't i don't think it was a smart choice if they were trying to I just don't think they're aiming for the right audience with the remake. They're aiming more for kind of like a general audience than versus like Silent Hill fans. Because I think Silent Hill fans were expecting um, Silent Hill 2 with slightly better graphics. Not too polished graphics because that removes the atmosphere. I think I think Silent Hill fans are upset because it, it, it took away a little bit of the atmosphere. But of course, I mean, we don't fully know until the game's out. Um, but I think first impressions, it's, uh, it's, it's a little tough to tell because it definitely looks more Resident Evil, a little more polished and that's just tough for a game like that. I don't think it looks bad. It doesn't look like, it doesn't look bad, but even me, I, I, I like those kind of games and, um, I think it just would have been cool to see kind of a more in-depth remake that pays homage to the original um because you can definitely tell between like the even just like the intro scenes the intro scenes tell so much the first one is like like it just kind of makes you like like question like whoa and you can see like the dread you can see the guilt you can see the the guilt right on james and the new one he's kind of like like he's, he's like he's like trying to do like a giga chat face. Resident Evil 2 remake wasn't scary at all, but it was still really fun. Yeah, like Resident Evil games are meant to be like I think they're meant to be more like 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 fun, a little bit more arcadey. Um, still have some kind of like themes of dread, themes of action horror, and those are totally fun. Um, they they are definitely good horror games but um i think those are the kind of games that are really suitable for remakes because it's just like okay well the game already has really good core qualities you just need to polish it because those games are so old 
Uh, I think a Silent Hill 2 remake, will, I think it'll be good because the old controls are kind of janky. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, at least people still have the original too if they really want that kind of style of game. I think people just, it's a lot of diehard fans, it's just hard to keep the game back to system to the original while remaking the entire game. So, kind of like a, there's a Metroid remake. Um, like the Metroid 2 remake. How the, the fan remake was everyone's favorite and then Nintendo shut it down and they made their own, which was still really good. But it was like, I don't know. It was, it, it, it was just like, it's because it's, it's such an old game. You just remade it. I'm done yapping, but I, I, I do like those games. So it's, it's interesting to see what people think about it. I don't know if my seahorse can compete with these with these sea dragons. Yeah, I don't think so. It's gonna be a really long race. Exhilarating. Reminds me of gambling in uh in GTA 5 with the, the horse race games. I remember when that was bugged. And uh I was able to glitch a lot of money from that and they patched it. Oh wow, I might actually lose this. Please. Please. Come on, seahorse. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Yes. That's my sea biscuit. What? What? I have the same time. It literally said first place as as I crossed it. That's bullshit. Stupid. Rigged. I can go to a new area, but I don't know if I want to go to it right now. But I'm, I'm gonna, I guess I'll just unlock it. I need the key to pass to the passage leading to the glacial area. I need the key to the passage leading to the glacial area. Oh, what's his name? Sawam is waiting for me. That's right. I, I forgot to make it, I've been ignoring him. All right. That's awkward because I got to go back up to the surface. So.
Dude, it's my dream one day to see beluga whales. I haven't seen one yet. I, apparently, I saw one as a kid or as a toddler, is what my parents told me, but I, I don't remember seeing it. So, technically, I have seen one, but, you know, I was probably, I didn't even know what I was looking at. Obviously, you have to be in captivity. The only... The only whales I've seen are gray whales and a humpback whale. How's it? Oh, wait. Uh, I can use these. Oh, this storm is getting rowdy. Tonight, the creature that gives the super rare boss card will most likely appear. Doesn't excite you as doesn't it excite you as a marine cock collector? Not really. If you're if you go in the evening, you'll see the vortex that was created by the storm. You'll find the creature once you go inside the vortex. Bro, but it's party day. I would go if my diving skills are better, it's too bad. Oh, but it's a party day! I need to go into the whirlpool on a stormy night. On a stormy night, so I can wait. I can wait. Okay, um... So it's the shark day, so only shark. Um, Tiger shark. Do I want to do the roasted shark head. Uh, I do want to do ones that'll be able to. I want to keep one of these in here because. Oh, that's my last slot. Okay, I should probably just do this then because it'll have enough. In case it I have way too many. All right. Um, picking plus plus. Oh, shoot. gonna get crazy i just have to clean dishes that's all i can do and maybe wasabi if i lose one person i'm going to punch the wall with my broken hand oh i see maybe so do they want like event fish or is that oh no those are just event people okay i see Maybe I should help out. <laughs> These beers take a while. I'm, I'm coming. Honestly, yeah, they can take care of the beer because that takes forever for me. 
Oh, shoot. We got dirty plates. We got dirty plates. We got dirty plates. We got dirty plates. No! Oh! No! 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 No, the bear! The bear! Fuck! This is a fucking disaster. I had one job and I fucked it up. No! I'm gonna lose so many ratings for this. Hey, take your... Take your beer and go. That was a, that was awful. I mean, still a lot of money, but. That's okay, I guess. 10,000 is pretty good. Not the best, but it's pretty good. It said on a stormy night. It didn't say on this stormy night. It said on a stormy night. That's stupid. That is stupid. Because look, it's a stormy day today. Man. Fuck this shit. Cause that would have been the goblin shark too, I'm pretty sure. Wait, no, it would have been nighttime. Let me see. That would have been, I guess it would have been one of these. Like a hermit crab or the mantis shrimp. That's all right, yes, but still. these worth oh sashimi sounds good I, I i'm craving sushi right now too man the best sushi i've ever had is still from winco mika i think i think you need, i think you need to I think you need to man up, and I think you need to try some grocery store sushi, because that shit fire. It's funny, I can't express myself very well with this hand, so I'm just do I've just been doing this. I tried. I, I mean, I tried. It's not that bad. You have to, you, you have to know Like, okay, that doesn't look very good. That doesn't look like very good sushi. Or, oh, it's not very, it's not stocked very well. So it's probably, people don't probably, people don't buy very much. So it may not be good. But where I live, there's a lot of sushi stocked in the grocery stores. I have a fish market, like 15 minutes away from me. And it slaps. But we're also closer to the ocean. So I don't know. Do you buy sushi with raw fish in it from the grocery store? Um, no, I buy sushi with just rice. Where else would I where else would I get where else would I get sushi? You're just asking for worms? Hey! More worms for me. I think that's a I think that's a different. Can, can raw fish get worms that easily? I thought you were buying a California roll or something. No. I'm buying sushi. I'm buying fish. 
sushi with fish in it. I haven't got worms yet. I've been eating it for years. I, I, I don't got worms. Literally, the ocean is like three hours away from me. It would be, it would be like two hours if there wasn't a fucking mountain right here. Like, I, I think by the time the fish gets uh, filleted and sent over in like a chilled like storage truck or whatever, it's still fresh. And then they prepare it. You're just scared. You're just scared to try new things. You're scared to get worms. Wait, so you don't buy raw fish? You don't want worms? They're not that bad. Oh, you know what? You're missing out. You know, what? I'm done. I'm 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 done trying to trying to argue this. You you're just you're missing out. That's all I'm saying. Well, you guys don't have a Winco, so I guess it makes it harder. Because Winco sushi is really... <laughs> my my mom made sure, too, because she's she's picky about that stuff. And she was like, no, like, there's, like... They have, like, a... Like, a... It's not just, like, a line... Like, a... Like, a... Like, this line cook, whatever. Like, it's... It's, like, a full-on, like, sushi kitchen. Like, she was watching them make it. Um, and she was like, it's, it's, it's pretty legit. So... And it's had it's the best sushi I've had. So I I trust the Winco sushi. I live right next to a Japanese restaurant. I'd rather get worms from a proper proper place. You know what that makes sense. What's so bad about worms anyways? That's that's offensive to me. <laughs> I'm part worm. I'm literally half worm. Come on. Be more considerate. Oh, shit. I just realized I probably can't worm. I mean, I could, but I would just be putting a lot of pressure on that. Oops. So, okay, you know what? You're fine. You're in the clear right now because I'm currently not part worm. I notice when I put a lot of pressure like on my palm or my hand, I can f it feels like really sensitive. So yeah, maybe maybe I shouldn't risk it for the clout. It would be funny. You'd see the exact moment like my hand just fucking cuts open again, makes the cut worse. That's what happened after that first day I got the cut was um, I. Uh, it was pretty small and I stopped the bleeding and then as I got home and checked it, it opened up more and like cleared a lot more and was still bleeding a little more. So I was like, maybe let's not do that. I'm not going to fuck around and find out. I don't... Can you get worms, worms, worms from sushi? Next time you eat sashimi, nigiri, or other forms of raw fish, consider doing a quick check for worms. Say National Science Foundation funded scientists. That was the most difficult sentence for me to read. How rare is it to get worms from sushi? Penetration of the worms into the intestinal tissue causes anisochiasis. 
And this is Kiasas? In this, uh, I don't know. The U.S. reports fewer than 10 diagnosed cases each year. In Japan, where raw fish is an in integral part of the Japanese diet, more than 1,000 cases have been reported each year. Really? I, I, I find that... I, I don't trust that. Maybe it's the way it's prepared. I don't know. What are the chances of getting worms from sushi? Oh, it's because they don't. Okay, wait. Okay, I think it's because they don't freeze it. Wait, let me let me read this. If I found a worm in my sushi, does that mean I have parasites? No. It means that the fish had a worm. In most cases outside of Japan, all the fish for sashimi has been frozen, which will kill such parasites. If the worm was a nematode, roundworm, it is probably anis anisakis. If it had not been frozen and was still alive, and it survived your chewing and stomach and entered your intestines, it would not survive long. Well, yeah, because that, that, that's 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 a nematode. That's like a that's like a full on like that's like a worm. I was thinking like parasites. Oh wait wait wait! Oh, this is actually funny. This has popped up as one of the first things. How to enjoy sushi without getting infested with parasites? And then literally the first sentence or the first like phrase is: In fact, most states like Oregon requires it to be frozen first. That's a good thing. Oh, okay. So you know what? I'm biased because I guess it's required to be frozen. So it kills those parasites. So yeah, okay, don't don't eat sushi. Don't don't eat raw fish. Don't do it. <laughs> so, trust me, it ain't worth it. I did not know that. That's actually that's pretty interesting. Does it require all fish to be frozen? I guess it does because maybe it's just how it's stored. But that makes sense though. If it requires it to be frozen, that there'd be fewer cases because in Japan it'd be it would be so fresh that I guess that makes sense. Might actually get some sashimi now. Do it. Spend money. You know it sounds good. Um, actually, now I kind of want sushi. Shit. Sounds good, but it hurts the wallet. I know, right? Why does something so good have to be so expensive? Just make your own sushi. Make your own sashimi. Oh, wait. Catch your own fish. And then... It might not have worms. And then make your own sushi. How the f how the hell has fang tooth become an invasive species? They're literally at the bottom of the ocean. I think it's just I think it's just a game reason. I was gonna say how how's that possible? There's really like few recorded sightings of them. Smoke salmon. Ooh, a salmon like a salmon poke bowl? That would actually that would slap. I like poke, but um I, I have to get like a small order of it or like a small like container of it because um, just like eating that much fish in such a short period of time just I was just like it, it, sometimes it can be too much fish but like if it's like a if, it, if like a really nice cold poke salad that sounds really good.
I've had Poke in Hawaii before, and that that was honestly you can't can't really beat beat it. You can't really beat it there. It's pretty good. The shaved ice and poke is like supreme there. Um, their McDonald's orders, like spam and stuff, is pretty good too. I've heard. I haven't had it, but uh, I don't know. The only thing about the shaved ice, though, is that we had to like wait on a really specific day because um, the line was like a couple blocks long. Running those businesses in Hawaii is probably like awesome because like it's like I don't know, there's like you could have like a shaved ice for like a restaurant and it would do good because it's such a small area. And I see that with like those small restaurants and those small like uh little stands is that like there's just so many people. My brother and I were standing in a line one time for, I think it was shaved ice or something. And halfway through the line, we we're like, man, this isn't even worth it anymore. <laughs> we're like, yeah, let's get out of here. Like at this point, I could have made my own shave, shaved ice. It was good though. We had it one day and it was, it was really good. But the, the sushi there is really good too. So. You know, sushi in Hawaii is pretty good. <laughs> I, I can say that. You will not get worms, maybe. Never say never. Move! Move! Oh shit. Don't, you motherfucker. You stupid barracuda. That was a waste. Oh, I, I know I want some soup. Um, I've been eating those factor meals the past couple days. I know I said I was going to do a live review of them, but that's... Uh, when was that? I forget when I first had them, but I, I just wasn't able to at the time. And they're really good. I'll, I'll actually admit that they're really good. And I got a whole box free because my order was like three days late. So I refunded my whole order and now I get a whole nother box free. So it's pretty good. Not sponsored. Um, but no, it's, it's, it's pretty like, like if you just stick to that and have like some extra necessities in your fridge it works out in the long run it's just kind of like it's it's not really saving money but you're just kind of you're you're uh you're primarily putting it into like having it prepared for you and it's fresh and it's weekly you choose how much you want so i i, I do actually like it even my mom likes them, and she she hates like packaged food. Yeah, I could see that too. That's that's the thing that sucks about with like packaged meals is it is um it is definitely like single use plastic trays. Um I guess for like work. What the fuck? What are these? Oh, 
those are catfish. Um, I guess for work, it's kind of like... Yeah, it is like... It's not the most resourceful thing. Um... I don't know. It's 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 it, it is it is like not as um uh, what am I trying to say? Not as beneficial as like cooking. Yeah, it's like that's the thing. Is like it is it is pretty. It is like the single use plastic for those trays and the film on them, but it's kind of like, like for me especially, when I have very limited time for like, especially like in the season and stuff, like get home at 9 or 10 p.m. And I'm like, wow, I really don't want to cook right now. Um, but yeah, meal prepping is great because you pick what you want. You pick like it tells you everything it tells you what like you have specified diets um but i would prefer it over like those really cheap crappy frozen meals that are like the thing i hate about like working on fire camp sometimes is they give you like they give you like the plastic all the plastic utensils plastic or the utensils and wrapped in the plastic stuff sometimes all your like napkin, like everything, because they want it packaged ready for you to send it like on fires and stuff. So all of it's like in plastic wraps to obviously like keep it sanitary, but it's just like, I feel so bad. I'm just like, I have to use my fork, but I don't like those. And the plastic straws too. I, I never, never use the plastic lids or the straws. And some, I've had some people tell me like, like, dude, like don't, or just get a plastic cup. And you don't want to spill it. I'm like, no, I can't. If you if you've been to if if you've been to Hawaii and worked in a sea turtle hospital, they like they will like harass you if they if they see you with like a plastic straw or plastic cup. Which I've been better about. Like I've I've always tried to reuse water bottles. Um, for work, if I have like a uh, because. We have free water there so if i have the same plastic water bottle i'll i'll uh i'll just refill it with water and then like clean it after maybe a couple uses reuse it again i needed like a good water bottle though i wish grocery stores implemented the same idea and you could just go to the store and buy prepackaged ingredients it would save money and resources true that is a good idea Like, uh, yeah, just kind of like make it more convenient. That's part of the sucks is like, it is the, it, I mean, I, that's why like, if I use something plastic, I'll either try to like reuse it or obviously like you know, um, clean it, treat it as like a, like a normal utensil for a little bit. Um, and then maybe it's like, okay, it's time to dispose of it. Or maybe like, um, I don't know. So it's not just like, okay, straw done. I've never had a plastic straw in a long time. Well, because I haven't eaten out or gotten fast food in forever. But I usually never get a drink just because, like, oh, I don't like soda. And there's a sailfish! Sailfish! Sail sailfish! Sailfish! No, fuck off. I'm tired of these barracudas. Oh, I don't have a rover. Fuck. 
Oh, dude, this is gonna hurt. Oh, dude, this pains me. Dude, this pains me so much. I feel so bad. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Oh, oh no. I didn't think I was gonna see one. Sorry, buddy. There's a new bylaw where I live. They made single-use plastics much less accessible. I mean, that's that's good. Um, I know like Chick-fil-A in a lot of those places use the use the paper straws, which I mean, I don't like using paper stuff either because it's just like okay, well, I just don't like the scene, like the really inconvenient single use stuff like straws or stuff but like i understand the paper is a lot better and uh I, i've heard so many people complain about the paper straws and the paper like that stuff um at like chick-fil-a and fast food places or local places like it's not that bad like actually drink your beverage and then it won't get messed up why do people need straws anyways? Just drink from the cup. Exactly. Makes no sense. It. Yeah, I don't understand the why people hate the paper straws. It's like, dude, it's just a normal straw. Like, just don't don't let it decompose. Don't leave that McDonald's drink in your cup holder of your car. Then maybe it won't decompose. I've never used a straw in a long time. Well, one, because it feels weird. Makes me feel like I, like I have like a sippy cup. I'm like a little baby child, and I'm 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 not I'm not a fucking child. I don't need a sippy cup. I understand people that use it use straws for like like uh like after like wisdom teeth, like you kind of need a straw or like certain maybe. Um, something that caused them that they need a drink from a straw. That's that's totally understandable, but um, yeah, I don't know. I have metal reusable straws in my house that I use sometimes for like smoothies. Because I, I always make my own smoothies and I, I use the metal straws, which are pretty good. And it keeps it cold. I have the metal straws with the with the rubber end on them, so it's easier to drink from. They told me not to use a straw under any circumstances after my surgery. Oh. I think maybe it was a different tooth surgery I was thinking of, a different tooth procedure. I think maybe because, like, when you drink from the straw, it, like, has a chance of getting into your, like, your stitches or, like, your... Wherever your wherever your area was worked on, and just maybe just as like a caution pre precautionary measure. I think they told me after a few days they recommended using a straw just to keep the areas clean. But man, you, you know me. You, you guys know me. I'm 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 hard like that. I I don't. I don't fuck with dentists. <laughs> I was kind of stupid when I got my braces because they said no, no gelatin or gummy material. No, nothing that can like get into your braces a lot. And I did not listen to a single thing. I just ate as I normally did. And maybe, maybe that's why my teeth look so messed up. And that's why I got like little, these weird canines. My canines have had like protruded a lot. That's the, that's the only difference I've noticed in my teeth shifting was my canines, like they basically went like this, like they went like out.
I can feel them. But it's not bad. Maybe maybe I'll just act like a vampire and just pretend I drink blood. When it's like pomegranate juice. It's much better than before though, because I had a gap in the middle of my uh, front teeth. And that was that was weird. Oh, let's do the sea the sea people mission. A dentist asked if I wanted to shave down my two front teeth because they're so big. Did you sue that dentist for emotional damage? I would have punched him. Mentally. And imagine imaginatively. Yeah, your teeth are just your two front teeth are just fucking huge. Like, do you want me to like fix that for you? I just walked out, never walked back in. I I would too. Damn. Did he explain like, oh, sometimes it could cause like teeth shifting, or sometimes it could interrupt like your other teeth, or sometimes people do for cosmetic reasons, or was he just like, damn? That's horrible. Hey, we dumpling. Made me love them more, so I did the opposite. There you go. Honestly, like I feel like people's teeth are very, um, it's like hair, like it's it's like part of your identity. I can understand why people want braces, but it's like I've seen some people like, like yeah, like we'll shave down their teeth, but I, I think I think everyone's teeth are so unique to them, so that's that's good. That's a message to everyone today. Love your teeth. Are they still white? There was like that one week period where my teeth were like shining white and it was really weird. I didn't like it. Makes me easy to draw. That that's that's a compliment, right? I've I've heard people use that insult before. Like you look easy to draw. I saw like on a tweet somewhere, and I was like, hmm. Oh wait, where's... I oh, literally did that just to get over here. Oh, I keep forgetting I have to go to Swam.
I'm worried that I'll have to get braces when I'm like older though, because I haven't worn my Invisalign thing for years. There was a point where it just it, I outgrew the retainer. I was just like, it just it hurt way. I can't even fit it on anymore. But before it just hurt way too much. That'd be weird. I come back to stream one day of just braces. I feel like I did not look good with braces. I always got the pink uh, bands for braces. Because my mouth always looked like this, too. Ow, it's cold. Key should be deeper inside. A room with a mural, if I remember correctly. What a cute sea bream. It must have come through that small crack. It's gonna get eaten. Okay. Holy cow, what is that? The ancient sea people Suwam talked about? They're still alive? Fortunately, they're still locked in the cells. I should not draw their attention. It just turned into dredge. To the room someone talked about the mural is but where's the key it's a puzzle i wonder what it means this game kind of reminds me of spelunky a little bit i think i've said that before but maybe i should try it out Something crumbling. Uh oh. It just turned into a horror game. Or a stealth game. Dawn is the name of the ancient pe sea people. For mutated for some reason, no guns or knives can kill them. Escape the cave without being spotted. 
stealth game. I think I can pass here. What if I hide behind the stone statue over there? I will go unnoticed. Hide behind a stone statue to avoid being seen by Gadon. Use the same. Use the stone statue when you're in danger. How did he not see me? Yee! Oh, it's just for a bowl. I'm all right. You know what sounds really good recently that I haven't had in months? That I almost fell... I almost come to? Was... McDonald's, dude. I, I had a... I had a couple appointments that were next to each other. Um, or the buildings were next to each other, so... In between appointments, I had like 40 minutes. I was like, oh, I want some McDonald's. That shit is so expensive right now. One day. I'll have it again. Yeah, same. Like, I feel like fast food just hasn't hit this year. Or so far. Like, I, I don't I haven't had McDonald's since the new year. Or since last year. But it, 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 it can't be my usual order. Because my usual order used to be like... 18 20 bucks and now it's like 35 it's the um two deluxe crispy mcchickens large big mac meal 20 20 piece mcnugget and sometimes the uh two hot and spices and now i just get the deluxe mcchicken or mccrispy sometimes two of them if i'm feeling spicy they always mess up my order for the Deluxe McCrispies. They always they always either give me the regular McChicken, the regular McCrispy, or like one time they gave me like four fish fillets. I was pissed. That was that was that you know, I think this is that event that have ruined McDonald's for me. I ordered uh my usual order and they gave me like four fish fillets and like two quarter pounders. What the fuck? No, is that the dude? Yep. Wait. Always went for a quarter pounder. Those are those are good. Wait, seven years? Like McDonald's? You haven't had McDonald's in that long? Okay, that's crazy. But I guess I, I can't speak because this that's an American tradition. That's insane. So if you have McDonald's now, you might like die. You're robbing graves now, as if destroying the environment was not enough. Be quiet. Whoever harms the Great Sea will have to contend with Sea Blue. In the Wrath of I, John Watson. Feel my eco-friendly Sea Blue Armor RX-93 and its power.
Oh, you stupid man. John Watson. Is there anything that can deflect the missiles? Deflect the missiles. Oops. How do I deflect missiles? that work? I guess it's like something in this box, maybe? Oh! Okay. I, I was like, it had to give me something. was that? This is way easier than the, the gray-white, though. <laughs> My eco-friendly sea blue armor, RX-93, is... I can't forgive you destroying nature, mumbles. Mumbles. Watching you, mumbles. You're tenacious. He was wearing high-tech diving gear. Should I bring it to Cobra? He may find useful parts out of this. I forget this game is about fishing sometimes. Okay, it's cool. Oh, he actually brought me the Glacier Passage Key. So Wom told me that he cleared the area and the key is free to be picked up. But I guess it took you some time. Um, I almost got eaten by nasty sea monsters. Oh, are you telling me you've seen Gadons? Are they still alive? Gadons? Hmm. This is the dark history of the sea people. You want to hear it? I have a short version and a long version. Which one do you like to hear? The short one. The Gadons are the corrupt sea people of ancient times. That's it? In short, yes. You want a longer version? Not really. 
I understand. Good amount of mustard. Good. I'm telling you the story of the Gadons. Wait, what? I said I said I understand. What the fuck? Game's trolling me. <clears throat> About 800 years ago, the Gadons were at the pinnacle of their civilization. Our ancestors had many devices far more technologically advanced than that of humans in the old days. These advanced technologies allowed them to live in peace and prosperity. It was all possible due to the divine tree fruits. These fruits provided the perfect balance of temperature and energy. And they last so long. The fruits that could only grow in the deep sea were like a blessing to our ancestor. However. Is, is, this, is this ketchup good? There are always those who are blinded by greed. Dash. One of the senior technicians wanted to apply the powers of the fruits beyond mundane purposes. He processed the fruits secretly and used them to modify the anatomy of the sea people. This Dijon has to kick to, has a kick to it. Oh, this Dijon is spicy. This is like horseradish. He modified the bodies of your ancestors. Yes. It all went in, it all went well in the beginning. Modified individuals exhibited strength far exceeding that of ordinary sea people. But Dash was not satisfied with modifying the fruits and wanted to go further. He wanted to extract energy directly from the divine tree. Anomaly carrots. Oh my god, Anomalous, Anomalous Carrots is referenced! What the fuck is a natural predator? To do so, he began to infuse the extracted energy into an ancient creature called Yawi. Oh, I don't understand everything, but it definitely sounds dangerous. Did King Long know about that? At the time, King Long was busy with the task of building the control room to ensure a steady supply of resources from the tree. He was, he was puzzled at the increased performance of the workers, but he had no clue what was going on. Then one day... The bodies of those infused with energy of the tree began to exhibit weird changes. Their body turned pale and their limbs twisted. They became so violent they began to attack other sea people. They are monsters I encountered earlier. Fortunately for us, the mutated ones hate lies, so they don't come near the village. King Long himself went to the control room, captured the Gadons, and locked them up in the abandoned cave. In the course of suppressing them, King Long suffered fatal wounds and later died. But it happened about 800 years ago, and I didn't even know the Gadons were still alive. That means maybe some of them may still be roaming the glacier passage. Are you expecting me to go there? I beg you. The sea people have been weakened by our ranching lifestyle. Right now, you're the only one we know who can help us find the cause of the earthquake and temperature rise happening in the glacial area. Okay, fine. Thank you, human brother. Oh, and take this, my gift for you. Take the sea people's necklace. You know, those strange... Worms that look like sticks. That's it for now. You must be tired. Have a good rest and meet me tomorrow. I will tell Sawam to guide you to the entrance of the glacier passage. Yo, a worms reference. Okay, well. Um, I need to... I need to fish now because I haven't fished once. Maybe I can find a sailfish again.
Hey, Peter. I've been watching some like deep sea videos. They're just like crazy creatures of the deep. I, ne I never get bored of those videos. Like right before stream, I was watching like 20 minutes worth of just, or I kind of like had in the background. It was just like ocean, like documentary footage, but there was no narration. It was just, it was just like the raw audio and just like footage of like whale sharks and sailfish and and uh just fish pretty relaxing no please Fish so strong. I guess the sun is out of the way now. I had this bottle um, that I tried to turn into a terrarium. I just need to. I need to uh, get some tools to kind of clean it out more because I, I 